Yesterday was Kamala Harris's birthday. She's 60 years old. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Nobody cares. The only reason that I'm mentioning it is because somebody made this hilarious meme, which is a throwback to when Hillary Clinton wished herself a happy birthday to, quote, this future president. And I hope that this gets fact-checked. Happy birthday to this future president, says the meme. And I pray that she faces the same fate as Hillary Clinton. And speaking of memes, the memes of Donald Trump working at McDonald's are absolutely hilarious. You probably saw the photos by now or the footage of him working at a Pennsylvania McDonald's to troll Kamala Harris because she claims that she started her career there. And Donald Trump loves McDonald's, so it wasn't just a photo op. He was having a good old time. And so here's some of the memes. Donald Trump, employee of the month, stop here for an immigration inspection. <laughs> That's him waving out the drive through window. This is fantastic. This is by Ben Garrison's wife, Tina, who Ben Garrison, the famous cartoonist who did the cover for my book, The War on Conservatives last year. And this is Kamala getting cooked by the polls. And the contrast between a normal person and a Democrat these days couldn't be clearer. We have Donald Trump working at his favorite restaurant, clearly enjoying himself and being loved by the customers. And then we have people like Chuck Schumer pretending to be human, posting photos like this, showing him apparently making a cheeseburger by putting the cheese on a raw patty. Remember this? I didn't think a single person on planet Earth could be this dumb <laughs> until I saw these photos. As expected, the liberal media is having a complete meltdown over Donald Trump, having a good time, and thousands of customers lining up hoping to have a chance to be served by him in the drive-thru. And this is MSNBC's Jennifer Rubin, who is also a columnist for the Washington Post. She pretends to be a conservative, and all she does is complain about conservatives to try to further dupe the mentally enslaved masses who watch liberal cable news into thinking that conservatives are all terrible. Even the good ones think that today's conservatives are just awful. He is so inept at pretending to be a real person that he really literally cannot operate the fry machine as a normal worker because he would be incapable of doing so. So first of all, he looked. First of all, they're running B-roll of him operating the fry machine. You moron. Matt Drudge, who, contrary to popular belief, continues to own and operate the Drudge Report, also attacked Donald, depicting him as Ronald McDonald the Clown saying that he's one fry short of a Happy Meal and that the felon finds work. A lot of people think that he sold the Drudge Report years ago because it turned into a complete trash website, but a little bird told me, who was very close to him at one time, that that is not the case, and he continues to own and operate it, most likely updating this post from a gay bathhouse somewhere in Thailand. That's not a joke, by the way. Years ago, I interviewed Matthew Leeshack, the author of The Drudge Revolution, which is the unauthorized biography of Matt Drudge, which gets into the history of the Drudge Report and his pettiness, his craziness, and his disgusting personal life. And this wasn't written as an attack, a salacious attack on Drudge. Matthew Leeshack actually is a fan or was a fan of Drudge and started writing this right when or before Drudge started to really go off the rails and then just lost touch with reality. Then you have liberals spreading fake news like this idiot who pretends to be an employee at this very McDonald's and saying that Knowing it was all Trump supporters made it easy for them. They were able to hawk a record number of loogies into those burgers. Some liberal lunatics even stoop so low as to flood that particular branch's Yelp page with fake one-star reviews, which should get them sued for defamation. Like this clown from New York who claims that the French fries are greasy and oversalted, blah, 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 got very creative with his fake review. Of course, all the fake reviews were posted yesterday as soon as they found out that Donald Trump was there. Warning, do not eat at this location. The franchisee is a known cult 45 member only to do a photo op with a convicted felon on premises. Oh. Then you have this self-proclaimed journalist who works for News Nation, that cable channel that Fredo works for that's trying to corner the supposed centrist market. The people who don't like CNN, MSNBC, or Fox News, which gets less than half of the viewers of my YouTube channel, saying that the McDonald's Trump is at has a 1.5 star rating on Yelp. Of course, leaving out the full context of 
why it has such a low rating. Typical journalistic malpractice. After that, he stopped by the Steelers game where he was welcomed by countless fans, including this woman with some very big assets who took to the field with a sign that says, Donald Trump secures the border, Kamala opens the border. The media is also melting down over the fact that Elon Musk started a PAC, a political action committee, and is giving away $1 million a day until the election to random people who just sign his petition saying that they support the Constitution. Of course, the only Republicans are signing the petition because we're the only ones who actually support the Constitution. And so now they want him investigated for violating imaginary campaign finance laws. We're going to be awarding a million dollars to uh, randomly to people who have signed the signed the petition every day from now until the, the election. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro chiming in this morning on Meet the Press. You are a former attorney general. Is this legal? I think there are real questions with how he is spending money uh, in this race, how the dark money is flowing, uh, not just into Pennsylvania, but apparently now into the pockets of Pennsylvanians. Excuse me, sir. The question was, is this legal? And the answer, of course, is yes. And to the question of, do Democrats support the First Amendment? That answer is obviously no. And if you support the First Amendment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis. And if you're a regular viewer, please continue to share my videos on your social media feeds, sharing links to these videos, giving the channel a shout out, encouraging other people to come and check it out. We're going to have to bypass YouTube's visibility restriction and shadow banning manually. So thanks for all your support. Stay tuned and I will see you soon.